12,120 pounds, the extremely popular Montana 3120. And this video can also apply to the 3121, the only difference being the refrigerator present in the Montana here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. And, uh, you know, if you're looking for uh, a full timer that still is travel capable, having good travel access and 35 feet of length with a full time RV warranty, that's, you know, that those are three big hitter features to go along with it right there. The only problem I've ever found with this RV is its shelf life. And what I mean by that is we can't keep them in stock here at Halet RV. We spent, even though we have like multiple of these on order at any given point, we're almost always sold out of them at any given time. So if you see we got one and you like it, I would jump on it. And as we go through, you're gonna find that this RV is just, it's just loaded with ace stuff. But travel access is one of the things Montana identified as an important feature long before most brands. So I'm standing in the bedroom. We can obviously get there. You saw that we can access the toilet. We got our door next to us here. And they left us enough room um, between the coffee bar and the slide flange where I can get here. And with the positioning of their island, you can access the entirety of the 18 cubic foot refrigerator freezer. Now, if we sneak around here, if you had to, you could probably reach to get to that sink. But you do still have a spot. If you had to sit down, you could probably grab a, uh, a quick bite to eat as well. So in terms of big fifth wheels, I think this has about as much travel access as you could possibly hope for. And when you get the slides opened up, the interior of this one never, never disappoints. I like the uh, the little bit lighter, more modernized um, look that they have going on, but there's a ton to cover. I'm going to start right from the top and work my way down. You will find both here and in the bathroom, there are uh, the larger, like, Max Air style vent fans. What's nice is they have a wall controller, multiple speeds, um, as well as the fact that it's got a rain sensor. So if you're away and it starts drizzling, eh, no big deal. Um, one thing you won't find in, in a Montana, at least visually, there's two of them, uh, though, is the air conditioner. You've got dual whisper ducted 15,000 BTU air standard on these. Um, also, you'll find that, uh, like back here in the living room, our air conditioner has a, uh, what is it? It's a 16,500 BTU heat pump or something like that. Um, uh, it's been a little while. I'm actually not... I gotta double check those figures, but I'll probably have that done by the time I do the video. Plus down here, um, you've got your 5K uh, electric space heating fireplace. Yes, it is 16,500 BTU in the roof, and then um, 5,000 BTU down here, because combined, you've got over 21,000 BTUs of heating potential without ever igniting the propane furnace. That is one of several things that you'll learn as we go through this Montana uh, to help you with your hot, cold climate kind of stuff. Now that TV is on a double jointed swing arm, so if you want to make it face over here, like if you're um, eating at the dining table or in the kitchen, you can do that. That's a 12 volt ceiling fan up top, by the way. I know I'm bouncing around a little bit. There's just so much to cover in here. Um, but what I was getting at is if you want to make that TV face the, the two sofas for like a little conversation corner, or if one of you likes to lounge on the sofa, one of you kick back on the heat massage theater recliner, you can. That sofa is also perfect for guests, I know, because I've spent a weekend on one in Mr. Halet's Montana, which is this exact same floor plan. I'll probably mention that a few times. Um, but uh, back here, it's an extra wide height of bed as well. So very good for two adults. The other thing I like to talk about on these is um, it, it's very like CPAP friendly because there are household and USB plugs on both sides. And that's something I loved when we took our family camping trip in, in this Montana. Uh, was all the USB plugs. You might notice too, there's day and night roller shades, two segment roller shades throughout the entire RV. So like right now, the sun would normally just be billowing in here and it'd really be giving my camera a lot of fits. I don't have to worry about that. But it's still nice and bright in here because we got a great lighting package plus all the indirect lighting. There's indirect lighting around that ceiling fixture, above the crown molding, um, you know, as well as even uh, below the countertop line. So you can do a lot of what I call stealth mode camping, which is where you turn off all the main direct lights. You just kind of use indirect lighting for a while. Um, now, in, in addition to the, the USB plugs by the rear sofa, each of those little silver circles you see built right into that sofa right there have their own little USB plug. Plus that center armrest opens up and it's a perfect place to keep your remote controls. Um, the lighting above you in the slide out is also uh, on a dimmer switch, which you can reach from the theater seat. And even though I've got all the shades drawn, one of the things that uh, I've always liked about this model is that you are just absolutely swimming in campsite windows. So if you really want to keep an eye on your site and not the neighbors, this is an ideal model to do that. 
Now that slide out is six and a half foot tall. Both of your, well, all Montana main deck slides are six and a half foot tall. So if I stand up at that dining table, I'm not going to knock my head on this thing. Speaking of the dining, if we take a look, you can see how it's like a two-person arrangement right now. But the table actually telescopes out and then has a flip-out extension, plus two of those uh, fold-away guest chairs, which can kind of stand themselves up. And then down below that, if I uh, take a bit of a knee here, you can see how they're all strapped down for transit. But you don't really have to do that because Montana has this handy little chair buddy, this little gas strut assist handle right there, to keep those chairs down where you want them when you want them. Now as I back up a little bit, I want to point out something here. The main deck of this Montana, and frankly all the flooring in this Montana, even in the upper deck, completely carpetless. So that's not a carpeted slide floor. It's a different material, but it, it's kind of like the stuff that you'd find on the, in the flooring of like a pontoon boat or something like that. Something that can get wet, that can be cleaned, uh, you know, that is super, super rugged. And it's just another one of those things Montana's really done an ace job of, of staying in tune with. You'll find a couple more of these in the kitchen too, but the handy little pop-up power tower right there is something I like. You can push it down out of the way if you don't need it, but two household outlets, two USB plugs, great if you're going to do some little like mobile office work camping. Working our way around, built into the stairs right here, we have two things, our central vacuum cleaner and what I like to call the electric dustpan. That's the little lower rectangle. It's got a little toe kick on it, and what you can do is if you sweep everything up, you can just flip that thing up when you have household power, meaning uh, park power, not 12 volt only like a battery like I'm on right now. If you flip that up, it'll activate the vacuum. That's a suction little collection point right there. And did you notice that motion light kick on when I walked over there? Pretty darn cool. Now, as we back up a quick mention, uh, I, I talked about this briefly earlier. Today we are looking at a 3120 Montana. Uh, a 3121, the only difference whatsoever, is just the uh, residential refrigerator that lacks the automatic backup and, and kind of, you know, safety that thing that you would have here of the 3120. So if your RV's parked seasonally and you lose power and you're away, this RV would uh, kick over to um, gas mode on the fridge and you'd, you'd never even know what happened by the time you came back. It'd take care of you. That's one of the things we really like about it. Not to mention, we find a little bit better service records on these for people who are going to be towing, which, especially considering this is the shortest of the full Montanas, chances are you are looking to be a little bit mobile. And then everything blows up for storage. It's absolutely awesome. So over here, by the way, this little countertop by the door, it is intentionally sized to be exactly the space you need for like a Keurig machine. Montana's really got good details there. And I, I forgot to open those two drawers. Those drawers there do open. They're not just fascia handles, as it were. Extra little, I, I think that'd be a cool little place to keep some hats or something uh, before you leave right there. Although it is nice that they give you some coat hooks. And uh, as we come over here, I want to pop this open because this pantry is like deceptively big. This is absolutely enormous back here, and this is that big-time, long-term uh, use and storage space that I think you are really going to want. Now, um, back over here, I love the symmetry on this kitchen, you know, the, the way that everything kind of faces the same way, although that kitchen window right there giving us a little bit of fits. But that is a convection microwave standard on any full Montana, and I don't want to miss the fact that there's also like an upper, almost like storage chest over here above the entertainment center as well. Working our way down, you'll see that all three sections of the kitchen counter are solid surface, um, including those flush mount sink covers, so you really have some ace prep space with easy reach outlets all over the place. So you have outlets on either side of the island, you have an easy reach outlet over there by the coffee bar, and then back over here in the symmetrical cooking space, you've got the pop-up power towers on either side. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten household power outlets and four USB plugs in just the kitchen of this Montana. That's a lot. Sealed burner stovetop that a lot of luxury fifth wheels are using now. You can thank Montana for making that a thing with that cool separate Furion stove and clear glass doors. You can actually look in there and see what's cooking. I would say that below this drawer is an ideal place for a wastebasket, but as you'll see very soon, the Montanas already come with a handy wastebasket, but I don't want to miss the fact that they've got awesome drawer space. So we've already seen seven drawers and we're about to see a couple more. Because we haven't looked at the island, and right away we've got that handy wastebasket that pulls right out to us. Now you could have a couple in here if you wanted, but it is nice that right in the kitchen, where you're probably doing the bulk of your prep and unpackaging, you have that there. 
Um, so our sink, you've got one oversized like farm style sink in that, that uh, you know, high rise pull out sprayer faucet, but you still have like a veggie prep sink over here as well. And then down below, everything below that sink is wide open. Great spot for like either big pots and pans or some organizers for like your dish soaps and all that stuff. Now, at a glance, as we start peeling through this bathroom, like you see a porcelain toilet, you see a seamless fiberglass shower with the height adjustable hardware. Great linen space, you know, at a glance, you're like, okay, same bathroom it's always had. But Montana listened. They actually moved back away from that pivot door back to a full sliding door right here, a pocket style door, to give you a little more like kind of elbow, shoulder room, a little more hip space if you're on the stool, for instance. So they are always, always paying attention. Now over here in the shower space, you do have a uh, you know built-in kind of molded seat. So if you need to sit to bathe, you have a perfect space for that. And um, right here, more space for a wastebasket. And there are not many fifth wheel manufacturers who give you excellent drawer accessibility like that inside of a, uh, a fifth wheel bathroom. That is a sealed edge press membrane countertop with a stainless sink here. And I like how they just framed out that mirror on the wall and gave you like almost like a medicine cabinet on the right hand side. Um, it's big enough for like a small blow dryer and plenty of Lipitor. <laughs> and then up top we have, uh, I told you, another one of those Max Air fans with the uh, rain sensor. So if you do happen to leave it open, it'll close itself right down if you step away. And up here in our bedroom, as I mentioned, this does have dual whisper air systems. That's something that you're going to also start finding on the uh, North Points and Eagles that we have here at Halo RV. We're really excited to, uh, you know, I just found that out recently at the time of this filming. The older this footage gets, the more commonplace that knowledge will become. But for now, that's, that's actually pretty cutting edge news. Um, so right up here in the bedroom where you're only like four feet from the AC unit, it will cut down on the noise it makes dramatically. An unsung, easily missed feature of Montana fifth wheels, however, is the fact that they have like a deeper, like a 6 to 12 inch, depending on who you're comparing against, deeper bed slide. You can see, obviously, that there's breeze windows on both sides. You can see that there's um, stands on both sides that are just designed to fit a small traveler CPAP, by the way. Household and USB plugs inside the slide box, which most brands don't do. And this is a 70 by 80 king bed. That is technically optional. That being said, it's unbelievably uncommon to not find that. This can lift up, by the way. There is storage below that. Up front here, our front uh, closet. If I get inside this a little bit, as I approach, you're going to see a little motion light pick me up. So as you start uh, sliding open the doors, it'll go, oh, hey, welcome back, dude. Now you can turn that off or on, but I like it on motion mode. Inside here, uh, obvious plenty of room for hanging stuff. That power outlet over there is kind of a relic from years past when they would use that for CPAP powering, but they just said, hey, it's already wired up. We're going to leave it. We're not going to peel anything out. We only add to Montana. We don't take away. Hardwood tops here in the, even in the closet, by the way, and that's the same thing you'll find on top of the dresser. Big time, either shelving or a shoe organizer or a combination thereof. And I love that little kind of laundry basket space right there. That is cool. Now, as I back up inside of that additional right-hand closet, you can see a chair stuffed in there. That is uh, uh, where your fold-away guest chairs can ride, or you could put them under the master bed. Additionally, that uh, closet up there is uh, set up, if you are so inclined, to go with a stackable washer-dryer unit. Um, down below, note to a bigger six-drawer uh, dresser right here. A lot of campers will give you four. Montana always tries to give you a little bit more. It's just the thing that they do. Montana's whole kind of uh, thing is anything you can do, I can do better. Is sort of how they, they operate. And generally speaking, they really seem to deliver on that. Just little things, too, like the fact that they're standard. They have a bedroom TV up here, and it pivots down. It's angled down to face you, which is a nice touch. But even this TV is on a swing arm, so if you want to get back there and plug in a Roku stick or something, it's very, very easy to do. Down below our master bed and bathroom, we have that huge drop frame storage compartment. It gives us a good look at the aluminum skeleton there. And if you notice, you can see the heat run that is supplying heat to the upper deck. There's also a forced air heat uh, vent right here into the belly compartment. Now the backlighting there from the opposing door not being real friendly. So let me get in here a little bit. And you can see um, the uh, that's your central vacuum collection point, the big rectangle. Then you have some outside TV hookups as well. Now this baggage door has magnet holdbacks. It has two of them and two slam latches. But you see these little silver uh, clips right there. If you live in wind country and you want to put gas struts on it, Montana goes ahead and leaves those on there from the days when they actually used to just use gas struts. 
Over here on the awning, you can see, or pardon me, on the slide out, you can see a second awning, as well as the slide awning option that we have applied. That's something that we like to do to basically all of our Montanas, whether it's a full Montana like this, or a high country Montana here at Halo RV, we like to put that extra protection on there. Not every dealership does that. That does tend to mean that this won't be the least expensive 3120 you could find. But it is arguably something that's a little more protected for long-term use and ownership. Um, the uh, LED accents on the nose there are orange in color uh, when they're turned on. They're obviously not right now. Beautiful blue sky day. Holy cow, I've been waiting for nice weather like this. Um, orange because that's DOT approved. There's also a large front storage compartment up there. Um, it is, uh, these are, you know, capable if you want to, you can throw generators in there. What's nice about being so close to RV production, if like this Montana we're looking at does not have a generator in it, but you like everything else about it, we can send it straight to Onan to have a generator put in uh, at their factory, which is the exact same hardware that Montana would use uh, when they install it. So we can get factory hardware put on these because we're so close it's just very easy for us to do you'll find these have uh, excellent ride and handling mr halet himself actually camps in a 3120 montana and one of the things he is always raving about is how nicely it handles and a lot of it is the road armor pin box and suspension system that we have going on here this will help soak a lot of the the shocks and jolts and bumps when you're going down the road so they don't get jostled around in your vehicle and the suspension system, what's cool about the Road Armor suspension is that it has dampeners both above and below the, uh, all, all the, the fasteners so that it helps really soak up the, the shock and jolt. Six point hydraulic automatic leveling. And over here where your auto leveling controls are located, there's also one more handy thing, hydraulic slide room flow controls. So let's say the RV's in storage and you only wanna open the off door side, the kitchen slide to be able to pack it up. You don't have to open both sides, you can turn the uh, door side slide off and open one uh, slide at a time. Or uh, you could have them both on or uh, you know open both slides at the same time. All LED tail and marker lighting is nice. You can see the enclosed protected docking center here. Montanas are and have been hot cold camp proven capable since 2005 and counting. They were way ahead of the curve on that. And then there's just those nice little keystone touches. If I get down here below the skirt, Hopefully she doesn't slap me. <laughs> we see a handy little sewer hose caddy. And it's those nice little keystone touches that you find on Montanas and a lot of Cougars that it just really shows you how they're really thinking of the end user. And of course, underbelly. Not only is it enclosed, it's forced air heated, it's insulated, and there are 12 volt tank heating pads for all of the holding tanks on this RV. So this again is something that is more than uh, capable of that, you know, hot, cold, seasonal uh, climate use. Now back here on the rear of this beauty, we've got, uh, whew, I gotta be careful how I phrase that, don't I? Um, we have a, not just receiver hitch for um, cargo, but this is actually a 3,000 pound rated towing hitch with the little tow safety hook chains as well as a four-way wiring harness. This is very, well, it's not very similar. It's basically exactly identical to what Jayco has been offering on their Eagle HT series for a few years. And it's really cool to see it come up into the bigger rigs. Understand, when you start trying to tow something behind a long fifth wheel like this, you're going to run into some length restrictions very quickly in most states. But there are some states that give you the opportunity to uh, tow some really long doubles. Sometimes you need special endorsements of very state by state. And I don't have them all memorized. If that's something you want to do, definitely check locally, okay, guys? All of our windows open in for great airflow. And as we pass around uh, right next to the... It's funny, we were just talking about eagles. I'm trying to duck under one right now. You can see how we have nothing but door side windows over here. So you always have a good look at your campsite. This awesome panoramic kind of viewing scenario. That way you're not just looking at the neighbors. And I suppose as long as we weaved our way all the way around here, if I uh, back up a little bit, you take a look at the height of the door in relation to the slide out. If I get over here on the angle, it's a little bit easier. You can see that the slide and the door are the same height. So remember that six and a half foot tall walk-in slide I was talking about? That's a residential uh, door height. And this has a residential height entry door on it as well. And so not only is it wider, but it's taller. And it does bear mentioning that those stable steps right there are what I call the zero G steps. They have a gas strut to easily lift them. So if you got like a bad shoulder or something like that, super, super easy. And they're not going to fall on you and like crush your foot or your head or your dog or your grandkid or anything like that. 
And finally up top here, you can see this nice polar white roof membrane. That's going to do wonders toward keeping the sun off this. That's actually a recent update. If you look there in the distance, that is what's called a late 2020 uh, Montana, whereas right now I'm standing on a 21 Montana. And the uh, update to lightening the coloration of the roof membrane is one of the things they did to help keep the sunshine out of here. Although they already had an amazing uh, you know, hot climate package with their AC systems and the uh, radiant package going on in here and all the insulation. What is also nice up top here, you see that uh, little black box right there. That is a, uh, a prep plug for a roof solar package. Montana actually has two different solar packages. We'll try to put some content together separately on those so that we can really zero in on them. But if you so choose, you've got tons of real estate here where you can really go solar crazy. Beyond that, if you have any questions, ladies and gentlemen, please don't hesitate to give us a call because as you can see, pretty much this, there, there's a, well, as you can see, there is a C of inventory here, S-E-E -E and then S-E-A if you're following like me. <laughs> anyway, give us a call is my point. We're, we've got a little bit of everything here. So whether it's hitching, pieces, parts, trades, finance, truck and trailer, package deals, RV delivery, and everything in between, the only thing we don't do at Halet RV is hidden dealer fees. Sorry for the convenience. <laughs> so take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.